It has become the skid row for RV homelessness in LA County. People without a home living in hundreds of RVs in horrible conditions. For the past several weeks, we have been investigating how and why this could be allowed to happen. And now I would just news reporter Josh Haskell shows you what's being done to get people's services and start moving some of these RVs out. It's a day residents and business owners in East Gardena have been waiting for for three years. Some of the unhoused who have been living in these mostly derelict RVs were moved to temporary shelter. The RVs towed away. We've had a lot of break-ins, damages done, stealing electricity, you know, breaking our uh, handicap thing. It's just been terrible. It's also a day the unhoused have been waiting for. So I'm on my way. Fed up with life on the streets, having to pay rent to live in waste and unsafe conditions. It gets tiring, you know, the, uh, even though it seems like it's a cool lifestyle, no rent and all that, you just get tired of living this, like, it's like living a bum life, really, like, low grade, everything's, you're always getting robbed, everything's always getting stolen. Three weeks ago, Eyewitness News aired our first investigation into the epicenter of RV homelessness in unincorporated L.A. County, East Gardena. Over 500 RVs, some filled with children, call these streets home. Your involvement has really helped because it's really showing what's going on in a community and it's also showing the strength from within our community on how we're having to solve things on our own. But LA County Supervisor Holly Mitchell, who is the top elected official representing East Gardena, says those who live and work here have not been forgotten. All of us, we've been overwhelmed by the sheer magnitude. For over a year, the county has been working on an RV pilot program to clear encampments and house the homeless. Pathway Home finally launched Tuesday morning. Every time you come down here and you see what East Gardena looks like, how does it make you feel? It makes me feel horrible, as it should make anyone feel who comes out here and sees the conditions in which people are living and the conditions in which these small businesses are trying to operate and do their business. We're looking for permanent, real solutions, not merely you know, uh, parking uh, signs that simply move people from the north side of the street to the south side of the street. Investigators with the Department of Motor Vehicles, L.A. County Sheriff's Homeless Outreach Team, service providers, and L.A. County Animal Care, who rescued a kitten and dog left behind, walked the streets of East Gardena. The unhoused were loaded into vans and shuttled to a nearby motel, where they will live until they're ready for permanent housing. These RVs will be towed to a lot nearby and then destroyed, but the investigations will continue into who owns the RVs and who's been renting them out. 35 RVs were identified to be cleared in the first wave, but some of the unhoused got word of the operation and moved their RVs last night to another street. The Sheriff's Department says they know who they are and will track down all the RVs in this area until everyone is housed. It is hard to convince them because um, this has been their life. And they're, we're asking them to make a significant change in their life, um, to trust the government that we're going to help them find a pathway home. And that's, that's a scary thing for them, right? We don't want anybody to die out here. We don't want anybody to, to get hurt. Um, so this has been an all-hands-on-deck effort. There is a narrative out here through my reporting that uh, people have said, well, the county considers these RVs to be homes. Yeah, that's, I heard that, and I've never said that. Uh, I heard some of the business leaders said that. What we hear is the people who live in them consider them, them homes, which makes the outreach to people living in RVs different than people living in tents. I've never said that's a home. That's not a home. I don't want any Angelino to feel that that is their only option. I'm overall excited. I can't wait to just be able to lay in a bed and close my door and be safe. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.